Our series, A More Perfect Union, continues this morning, and it aims to show that what unites us as Americans is far greater than what divides us. This morning, we introduce you to Louisiana's Teacher of the Year. Her name, Kimberly Eckert. She teaches English at Brulee High School near Baton Rouge. Over the course of her decade-long career, she started a unique tradition. She writes personal letters to her students to ease some of their anxieties and to let them know how much they mean to her. This year alone, she wrote more than 150 letters. Imagine that. Well, we met some of Eckert's past and present students who wanted to return the favor. They shared just how much she meant to them. It's treating them with dignity and it's treating them with respect that you matter. You might not have seen it yet, but I saw it. I saw it the second I locked eyes with you. You mattered before I ever met you. This experience, it's my job to help you feel just how very, very much you matter. She saw me and that was something new to me. I just felt like there was just this arrogance that I had and um, I feel that now I'm just so much of a better person and I can't begin to thank her enough for that. She was different because she always came checking on me and she was like other teachers, they just see in the hall and that's it. Babies! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I think if there's like if there's anything that that I've learned, words have a lot of power. And the way we use them and how we use them and the timing in using them is sometimes all the power that we need. It's all the power we need. And I think that with my particular students and in their generation, the frequency that they see words, um, they can kind of forget the power of just a letter. They can forget the power of feedback written on a paper. I did get a letter mailed to me after school was over and I think got it like summertime, but it was just a bunch of positive things to let you know that I'm not going anywhere. We can talk anytime. I wrote this letter to her. Cause she always writes from other students. I feel like she deserved to get one herself. Okay. Dear Mrs. Eckert. Like many others entering high school, a big part of my freshman year was trying to find my place. You showed me a side to myself that I didn't even know existed. Seeing you always be you showed, showed me that it's okay to be different. different. And explore new things. You taught me to be a more open-minded and kind-hearted person who is willing, willing to put forth the effort to make a difference in this world. You immediately saw potential in me. I love that. You gave me responsibility. You made me step up and grow up and live up to my potential. You was labeled as a teacher, but in my heart, you, you are, are a friend, friend and, and a person, person that I can always lean on. In Room 104, I learned how to truly feel empathy for others. You forced students to be vulnerable and uncomfortable, which, which can, can be challenging, challenging initially, initially, but was necessary to grow. to grow. I feel super lucky because I had the opportunity to be taught by you. To be able to touch a kid the way you touched me would make everything so worth it. I can truly say that you were one of the teachers who made me better. There are certain teachers that live in your life forever, and you are one of them. Much love, Gabrielle Myers. Sincerely love, Jasmine. Sincerely love, Miracle. Sincerely, Lauren Walker. Kindest regards, Alexander Joseph Spencer. You guys, it's like a birthday. Look at all the birthdays. Wow. You guys is right. I would think as a teacher, it doesn't get any better than that. Well, know the difference that you made in somebody's life. That those simple words yes. in a letter that it's express empathy power. and yes. kindness and compassion yes. and tell you, you know, I think you're so great. Yeah, More your than. heart grows about three sizes watching that. Yeah. And just the simple words of thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Mrs. Eckert. Thank you, Mrs. Eckert. And the other teachers who are doing it. She's teacher of the year. <laughs> yes. Deserves it.